around here. In today's exciting episode, we're doing some framing. Now I'm changing drop saws. This is my new drop saw. Now I didn't get it from Milwaukee themselves. I got it from a guy who works for Milwaukee though. So I will pop the word advertisement there, just in case. There we go. The M18 FMS184. So when I was using that DeWalt drop saw, that was a, a drop saw that kind of did everything. But for everyday use, it was a little bit overkill. You don't need such a big saw to cut 4x2. So I bought the Festool Capex to do the nice stuff. And now I've got this to do the everyday stuff. It's cordless, lightweight, very mobile. And um, hopefully good enough to do everyday framing. And because I use the dual drop saw stand for everything, I'm gonna get more of these for the Festool. And uh, these new ones here for the Milwaukee. There you go, one hand. Okay. no capex. One thing I like about the Milwaukee arms, it's a pity I don't have a Milwaukee stand, is look, part of the bolt is within the arm, so all you need is the right allen key and you screw directly into that, whereas with the DeWalt one you've got the washers and bolts and you have to have a spanner, hold the bolt in place and then a screwdriver to screw the top in. That's a good idea. So it was the other day that we started laying this out and I'll cut to a shot now of how we make it match with the existing house. Oh, what's going on here? Oh my god. Daylight. We're cutting that channel in the wall because we want to frame the new extension and it starts, it starts from here. Now that we have this channel here cut out, we can, we can uh, project the wall out here. So we've got dodger blocks out there, we've got one of these nailed at the other end. So the line is that thick away from the wall frame. And we've got another block here in the middle. So the idea is you pull it tight until it touches the block there. That's roughly where we are there. So, so that's a 100 mil there, 103. The bottom plate here is about 100. We're 103. Same as the bottom plate, and our 90 our 90 mil wall is going to have to be packed. The old style framing in New Zealand is like 100 mil rust on, and what we use now is 90. So we always put the 90 mil, and then we pack the inside. It's much easier to pack the inside after the building's been closed in than it is to pack the outside. A laser. What do you reckon, Rich? You reckon you're going to see it? Not so far. <laughs> You got it. Except it's moving around like crazy. We're at like 133. It looks level, I think. We're just double checking. We don't have the. We don't have the beep beep beep. So we're going to use the bottom plate as a layout tool for the top plate. And then you need to do the same down there. And there we go, now the mark lines up with this start at the top. And as long as I make sure the marks line up, then it doesn't matter that the wall's going like that, we know we're in the right position. It's pretty good. It's not perfect though. Oh, we strive for perfection, Scott. Absolutely, Richard. Couldn't see a bit of my stuff, Richard. Yeah, that's not plum either, that'd be why. The whole thing needs to go that way. Let's push it. Crank it. Ah, psst, push it. Push it good. Ah, psst, push it. 
to push it real good. That's pretty good there. This should be the plum now. We marked it out right. Oh my god. Plum. That's perfect. Couldn't be better. It's like you know what you're doing. It's like we're professionals. So we nailed them together to create a 300 by 90 meter. Four, five, fifteen. Confirmed. Five, eh? Beam time! This is the beam that sits above the bifold doors and allows you to get the massive, well, quite large, four and a half meter span. The height's high as well. It's like it's got a loose connection somewhere. Oh, yeah. There, see? Look. So what's the secret to a good good bird's mouth putter? Just cut straight I guess. A good template? Good template? Maybe. Oh yeah. Not the same template? What do you reckon? I think it sounds good. Wow. Oh so you, you ripped them all and then you cross cut them. Yeah. yeah. Just get a bit of speed going bro, what do you reckon? Oh. Wow. Like 60 degree angle there, see? Yeah. Good at guessing, you know? Oh, look at that. Smooth as. So you got a bit of a production line going? Well, just gonna muck around, Scott. Yep. It's taught by you, bro, taught by the best. Absolutely. I agree. So what we do here is we put a dodger block, what we call a dodger block. It can be any thickness of block, just as long as you've got three blocks the same thickness, and you put a nail at one end, nail at the other end, string line goes over the block, and then we use the third block as a spacer. As long as that wall is equally as far away from the string line as the thickness of the spacer, you're good to go. You good there, bro? Very windy day. 
tumultuous weather you could say shaky camera but all worth it in the end you can see the extension coming together now so this is the uh, laundry in part of us we're gonna put a wall there door there that's your height of your window so that's super high there we go I can just touch the top of the window got a bit more framing to do on that ceiling on that roof fixings lots of fixings these are the glorious days that you look like a superstar it slows down from here thanks for watching this exciting episode All right, so my first impressions of the Milwaukee uh, 185 mil drop saw, I think. Really good. A uh, couple of little glitchy things. When I'd turn it on, sometimes it wouldn't turn on and then it would kick in. Almost like there's like a loose wire or something. And Rich pointed out that the light was still on when that happened. So it seems to be from the trigger to the motor rather than from the battery to the motor. Speaking of batteries, uh, Today I paid attention to the battery. We had a full, fully charged 8 amp um, Milwaukee battery and that went all day. And we cut all those rafters, a uh, bunch of nogs, studs. Um, we even cut some 200 by 50 nogs at one point and the drop saw handled it fine. Um, yeah, so far so good. And uh, you can carry it with one hand. <laughs>